This is a tutorial for my Premiere Pro presets pack. So once you download it, you should get a zip file. And if you're on Mac OS, you can just double click and it will extract the zip file directly where you are. So it happened on my desktop. If you're on Windows, right click and choose extract here or choose an extract location that you prefer. Next, I can open this folder and go into presets to find my presets. I'll go into Premiere, then inside of the effects panel, I'm going to right click on the presets folder and choose import import presets. And here I can go into my desktop, then into the presets pack and presets and select the presets. The file name should be PRFP set. So this is a preset file that Premiere understands and open to import the presets. And all of them should appear inside of the bog presets folder. So once you expand it, you have all of my presets. I'm going to delete it because I already have my own presets. So I don't need duplicate ones. And let's go over what they do. So there are some basic presets like a camera shake, which will basically just shake your camera. Some of the presets have YouTuber names inside of them because I first discovered them on their channels and made them based on their presets that they're using. So this one is Benny Productions Movement and it basically just subtly moves the Shrek. You can add something like a bounce preset, which will make Shrek bounce just like so. Or if you don't like this sharp bounce, you can add a smooth bounce very smooth. You can deep fry the Shrek. Deep fried. You can add handheld movement, which works better for screen recordings and not Shrek. You can add a Johnny Harris photo preset, which will make Shrek appear nicely. So if I go into effects, you'll see that Shrek is a little blurry. And then as it comes up, it comes into focus, which is a nice little preset when something appears on the screen, like a photo or Shrek. Then we have my clean voiceover presets for a mono track or a stereo track. And a mono track is basically this when there's just one audio channel and a stereo track would be if this audio would be split in two. So this is a stereo track. You'll see that the audio is split in two and this is mono because the audio is split into one or not split into two. So if your audio is like this, you can apply the stereo preset. And if it's like that before, you can apply the mono preset and it will make your voiceover sound super crisp. This is the before. In order to download the Netflix app on your Mac, open up your Spotlight search. And this is after. In order to download the Netflix app on your Mac, open up your Spotlight search. There are, of course, the classic transform presets, which will make Shrek appear from the bottom. You can choose one with a little bounce, or you can choose one with a little smoother bounce. Very nice. Then there are presets for text. So if I select the text tool, then click anywhere and then escape, I'll get this empty graphic layer where I can apply the wavy letters effect, which will make wavy letters appear from the bottom and continue waving. I've set the font to Arial Bold. This is not the font that I use, but it's probably one that you will have on your computer and it will not give you errors because you don't have the fonts that I have. Next, let me just take a screenshot of this YouTube page to showcase some more presets. Some presets are made for screenshots. So I'm going to increase the size a little bit, then nest the screenshot. So this new size becomes 100. And for example, I can add moving edges to the screenshot, which will make the edges move. Very nice. Let me pick an image that's not white. So we can add a white outline on the image like so we can make this image yeet in from the right. So it should come in from the right. Whoop. And then we can make it yeet out to the left. Very nice. We can make it wiggle with the wave wrap. We can add a simple S curve preset, which will enhance the image. It became a lot more contrasty as compared to before. Of course, this doesn't work with Shrek, but with actual real life footage, we can make it have an old 90s aesthetic. Or we can add a basic 3D effect. This works better with screen shares or something that you've recorded on your computer and you want it to make it look like it's actually being recorded with a camera. So those are some of the presets. What's also inside is this moving background, which I use for most of my videos, and also a few more variations of it. Then there are a few animated arrows that you can use as overlays. Then there's the RGB overlay that I've made in Photoshop. And there's also a templates sequence, which basically has a bunch of templates that I use for my own videos. I'm not sure if this will be useful or not for you, but I've included it just because why not? So that's what's inside the presets pack.